Coming up on This Week in Torrance, the city's police department receives a generous donation. We'll tell you how the funds are being spent. And a local hospital receives the highest rating. We'll tell you what for. Plus, thousands prepare for an annual event here in Torrance to raise awareness against cancer. We'll tell you where you can sign up. Then a local organization hosts a free flu clinic as the epidemic is at its peak. These stories and much more are just seconds away. Your local news starts right now. Hello and welcome to This Week in Torrance. I'm Jen Chun. And I'm Ben McCain. Thanks so much for joining us. Here are your top stories. The Torrance Police Department received a generous donation. During the recent city council meeting, council members moved forward with accepting the Torrance Police Foundation's nearly $30,000 grant to beef up their canine unit. With the funds, the department will receive one additional police service dog, basic handlers, and bomb detecting training for an existing canine team. Currently, the department only has two dogs in their canine unit. The addition will help with combating the increase in felony traffic stops, vehicle and foot pursuits, and subsequent police containments. The Torrance Police Foundation is governed by a board of directors comprised of local business and community leaders and residents with an interest in public safety. For more information, head to torrancepolicefoundation.org. To date, the Torrance Police Foundation has donated close to $200,000 worth of resources directly to the Torrance Police Department to fund equipment training and programs. Well, leadership within the Torrance Police Department continues to grow. Captain John McGeff was recently appointed a Deputy Chief of Police. In his 30-year career, he has worked across a variety of assignments. Few of these include working in the Patrol Bureau as Watch Commander, Field Sergeant and Patrol Officer. McGeff has also worked in the Special Investigations Bureau and Administration. He was promoted on January 21st. The Torrance Police Department currently has 227 sworn police officers and 128 civilian staff. A big name store is closing across the county, including the one here in Torrance. Babies R Us, along with its sister stores, Toys R Us, are closing, including the one located on Hawthorne Boulevard. The chain announced that 182 stores will close as part of the company's Chapter 11 bankruptcy reorganization plan. Officials said that its focus was to improve the in-store and online shopping experience while also revamping its loyalty program. Toys R Us filed for bankruptcy in September. The closure of stores makes up about 20% of its locations. Going out of business sales are scheduled to start in February and will be completed by April. It's that time of year again to get your hands on your favorite cookies. 2018 marks the 101st anniversary of Girl Scouts selling cookies. The season kicks off this week as girls will begin selling Thinman, Samoas, Tagalongs, and some of your other favorites. You can expect to see cookie booths around town. The Girl Scout cookie program is the biggest fundraiser for the organization. A favorite at the Torch Farmers Market returns. It's the first week that Harry's Berries from Ventura County are back in Torrance. The California family farm was established in 1967, and they're known for their variety of strawberries and vegetables. They are dedicated to growing their produce without any chemicals. In 2016, the family sold 500,000 pounds of strawberries and will be celebrating their 51st anniversary this year. Southern California makes up 70% of the farm sales. With ours, you're not going to get a bad berry. We have up to five different varieties that we grow. They're all sweet. They're all firm. They're all fresh. They're red all the way to the stem. There's no other berry like them. Harry's Berries are at the Torrance Certified Farmer's Market on Tuesdays and Saturdays, rain or shine. A fundraiser to help the fight against cancer is looking for participants. Relay for Life is a 24-hour event taking place at South High School. Volunteers can join or create a team to help fundraise. Now, over the course of the 24 hours, participants will walk around the track, remember lives lost, honor survivors, and help raise awareness against cancer. Now, this is the signature fundraiser for the American <laughs> Cancer Society. The event is staffed and coordinated by volunteers in more than 520 communities in 27 countries. The event takes place on April 21st. The City's Commission on Aging is looking to honor volunteers. Nominations for the 2018 Older American Awards are now being accepted. Nominees should live in Torrance and be at least 50 years or older. 
In the application, it should also include their volunteer efforts, personal accomplishments, and details about their family. Awards will be presented by the mayor and members of the Torrance City Council in May, which is Older American Month. The commission deals with the needs and issues related to seniors in the community and provides a voice for this demographic. The deadline to nominate is February 9th. You can email dread at torrentca.gov. Well, still ahead, a Grammy award-winning quartet brings their talents to Torrance. Plus, a unique exhibit opens at the Torrance Historical Society and Museum. Palm trees, coastline, craft brews. Yep, this is Southern California. But this is Torrance. Have you ever driven to a whole other city just for a bowl of ramen? Because if you haven't, that's about to change. Have you ever been to a beach that feels so much like your own private beach that you're like, where has this been all my life? Welcome, my friends, to Torrance Beach. So private, you hadn't even heard of it. Have you ever been to a mall that had literally 2.7 million square feet of shopping? Run, don't walk to Del Amo Fashion Center. And get this. Torrance is the actual epicenter of the South Bay's craft brew industry. I guess you could say the brews are just craftier here. We also have a farmer's market that's just as much about the people as it is about the food. And even our museum scene is the best of the South Bay. All this, just 15 minutes from LAX. You'll come for the city, stay for the experience, and leave as a friend. So, are you in? Grammy Award-winning group Parker Quartet brought their unique sounds to El Camino College. The four-member group opened with the performance of its quartet in E minor, then went on to a quartet in B-flat major. The group formed in 2002 and is known as one of the preeminent ensembles of its generation. The group of talented musicians have traveled around the world and have won many highly esteemed awards. They've received a Grammy for their best chamber music performance in 2011, making them the last string quartet to win in this category. Currently, their full residency is at Harvard, and their members hold graduate degrees in performance and chamber music. To follow their journey, go to parkerquartet.com. There was an unusual yo-yo contest with a twist at the George Nucano Theater. Yo-yo enthusiasts showed off their best tricks at the 13th Bill Leibowitz Yo-Yo Classic. Many of the attendees say yo-yoing is an art form allowing them to be creative by coming up with their own tricks. Take a look at that. That is incredible. And of course, they wouldn't be so skilled without some practice. It's not a typical yo-yo, yo-yo typical judging system. So we have people just coming up and they apply. Once they apply, then they get the cash. And then when they get the cash, they give the cash to whoever they like the most. So in the end, whoever has the most cash gets the prizes that we've been given by the by the sponsors. It's a really fun hobby. Uh, I enjoy these yo-yo contests a lot and uh, once again we just really thank the city for letting us have the venue. To, and next year if we if we uh, are able to use it again we're planning to do more publicity and invite the schools to come and kind of make it a little bit bigger event. Maybe have some yo-yo giveaways and things like that. For those of you who may be unfamiliar with yo-yoing, Bill Leibowitz helped form the yo-yo trend and scene in Southern California and was a national champion. You now have the chance to see how people used to type in the early 1900s thanks to a local exhibit. The Torrance Historical Society just opened their vintage typewriter display. Over a dozen historic typewriters are on display, including a 1912 Corona folding typewriter, 1920s Remington Standard, 1930s Maroon Corona Portable, and others. Visitors will have the chance to strike a few keys on January 28th, from 2 to 4 p.m., this event is free and open to the public. The museum is located at 1345 Post Avenue in downtown Torrance. They're open from 1 to 4 p.m. Sundays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. The display will be there until February 8th. A non-medical home care company moves to a new location to better serve its clients. 24-hour home care now moved to 21311 Hawthorne Boulevard 
in the same complex as the Harbor Regional Center in Torrance. The move comes so 24-hour home care can produce enhanced support for regional center staff and families who serve people with developmental disabilities. Officials say the new location is also central to many South Bay medical facilities and hospitals, enabling 24-hour home care to continue providing premium care services to seniors in the South Bay. The Los Angeles-based company provides high-quality, customized, professional caregiving services to people with developmental disabilities so they can live an active and healthy lifestyle. A Torrance-based company accomplishes a big achievement. Doc Magic Inc. announced they've processed more than 300 million mortgage-related electronic signatures. Now, the company is a premier provider of fully compliant loan document preparation, regulatory compliance, and comprehensive e-mortgage services. Company officials say the achievement is the direct result of increased adoption of their technologies. Founded in 1988, Doc Magic Inc. is headquartered in Torrance. A German cosmetics company is coming back to Torrance. Wickerly Cosmetics is moving into the former Panasonic building at 525 Maple Avenue. The company was in Torrance for seven years before relocating, but now returning to a long-term lease and hoping to buy the property one day. The company is a manufacturer that makes products and packages for well-known makeup brands like Revlon, L'Oreal, Max, Smashbox, and more. They hope to bring nearly 200 employees to their U.S. headquarters. A local hospital receives a five-star rating for its services. Torrance Memorial Medical Center earned the highest rating possible from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services Hospital Compare Program. Torrance Memorial is among 8% of hospitals in California and 9% nationwide to achieve a five-star rating in 2017. The combined five-star ranking, along with another four-star patient experience rating from another survey, makes Torrance Memorial one of only two hospitals in the Los Angeles area to receive this acknowledgement. The overall hospital star ratings are based on 57 hospital inpatient and outpatient quality measures from seven categories. Neuroscience centers have been opening across Los Angeles County, helping to increase the survival rate of patients. Most recently, one stroke survivor was an example of this. A patient was taken from San Pedro Providence Little Company of Mary to Torrance's Pacific Neuroscience Institute, where she survived her stroke. Then she was given the best care for rehabilitation. Now, the Neuroscience Center specializes in a wide range of services for stroke patients, Parkinson's disease, brain tumor to spine disorders, dedicated teams of specialist state-of-the-art facilities, and the use of leading-edge treatment along with collaborative approach ensures that each patient receives the attention they need for treatment and recovery. On next week's Newsbreak Live, a doctor from Torrance's Institute will be live with anchor Hibis Summit. The Torrance South Bay YMCA helped locals take steps to protect themselves from the flu. With deaths increasing and flu season at its peak, the Torrance South Bay YMCA hosted a free flu shot clinic recently. Flu shots were provided thanks to the collaboration with Arconic and Western Medical Group. Torrance South Bay YMCA officials say that in the spirit of social responsibility, the flu shot clinic was free and open to the community. The Centers for Disease and Control is calling it the worst flu season in eight years. At least 30 children have died from the flu this year. The best way to protect yourself from the flu is to wash your hands often and stay away from people who may be sick. And speaking of the flu, make sure to not mistake it for a cold. Now, there are ways to differentiate whether you have a cold rather than the flu. Colds tend to have gradual onset symptoms, rarely a fever and slight aches. Sneezing and sore throat are also common. But when you have the flu, you will experience symptoms right away, such as fever, body aches, fatigue, and sometimes sore throat. Another red flag is that patients will have a cough. Now, the Centers for Disease Control says that every state is experiencing serious flu activity except Hawaii. Still ahead, upcoming events happening right here in the city, plus a preview of what to expect on the next episode of the Sports Desk. You're watching This Week in Torrance. Meetings are... Well, meetings. Unless, that is, you're meeting in Torrance. Torrance has more than 67,000 square feet of total meeting space. Plus, we've got 1.5 miles of our very own beach, amazing Southern California weather, and are situated just 15 minutes from LAX. And after all your meeting and greeting, don't let the opportunity to explore pass you by. 
do some team building, and express your artistic side. You could even become a master chef, or just eat like one. And of course, make time to stop and smell the roses, and spend as much time as you can getting in touch with nature. Greet the day and meet the Torrance way. So, are you in? Welcome back. Here are some upcoming events. On February 8th from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m., North Torrance High School will host Hairspray the Musical at the James Armstrong Theater. Tickets are $15. You can call the theater box office at 310-781-7171. Then on Sunday, February 11th, the Torrance South Bay YMCA is hosting a free family drive-in movie event. Disney's Pixar's The Incredibles will be showing... The parking lot opens at 5 p.m. and it's first come, first serve. Now let's find out what's happening in the Torrance sports world. What's going on, AJ? Hey, guys, here's what you'll see on this week's edition of the Sports Desk. If you like incredible finishes and buzzer beaters, you've come to the right place. The Knights of Bishop Montgomery had an epic battle with rival Westchester, and the Warriors of West High were involved in an overtime thriller with Santa Monica. Plus, North and Torrance battled on the soccer field and grappled on the wrestling mat and local high school surf teams hit the waves at Torrance Beach. All this and so much more. Remember to watch the Sports Desk at 4 and 9.30 p.m. right here on Torrance City King. Jen and Ben, back to you. Thanks so much, AJ. Well, that does it for us on This Week in Torrance. I'm Ben McCain. And I'm Jin Chun. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.